Ricardo has just nine kilometers left to climb to the summit. He's holding his lead, really. They're not coming up on him just yet. Denis Menchov here. And there's been an attack by Mayo. There it is. As he makes his move. And look who goes. Armstrong. And look who follows. Jan Ulrich, but not as sprightly. Not as sprightly. The big thing about Armstrong, he has the acceleration. When he wants oh. to go on the climb, he can do it. He has now decided, I want to go. You can see the yellow jersey is opening up a slight advantage. Mayo now has to dig deep. Ulrich has got the big gear going. He's coming up to the wheel of the Basque rider. But Armstrong wants to go right now. Armstrong was waiting for somebody to pull in the flag. And now it was even... Oh, oh what's happened down. here? What has happened there? It seemed quite a normal corner. He must have hit somebody in the audience. Mayo has gone. Now the situation. Remember the pair of swords when Ulrich crashed? Armstrong waited. But what? let's have a look at this now. It I still is unclear here exactly what happened. I can't see. I think he just touched somebody with his handlebar there, but his chain is off. His chain is stuck, and it's complete and utter chaos at the back end of the bike race. Can he recover? He's on his same bicycle. His teammate is there right now. He's changed up onto the gear that, to try and get himself. He's got a teammate there. There is Chechu Rubiera. Calm down. Don't panic, lads. He's saying he's putting his hand down. Saying, uh, Don't worry. We can get back into this. The adrenaline will be pumping now like you will not believe here. He's got to control it. Otherwise, he'll take himself over the top. He's so lucky to have a teammate. And I think he's waiting. Well, Ulrich, Ulrich is now I think in he's first waiting. place. I can't believe he will take advantage of this. He's looking over his shoulders. He knows there's a possibility of winning the Tour de France right now, but he's not sure what's happening. There is Vinokurov in front. There is Ivan Mayer. He's the man who went down with Armstrong as well. Oh, oh what is going on? There's a problem with his pedals. And this he has is what a problem happened. with his pedals. This is what happened. I think his pedal may have broken. This happened. He didn't hit anybody. Well, it was the know. problem with his pedals. It was very strange to see that. He's looking down. He now knows he's got a serious problem. Watch this now. Well, he's this is awful. digging deep and his foot has just come out. And he's, oh, I don't oh, believe oh, how he's managed to keep it up right there. And how did Mayo must have panicked as well there. Well, what is this Tour de France going to end with? Every day is something different. Ulrich will be totally unaware and probably totally perplexed as to why Armstrong fell. But I think that is positive proof that it was nothing to do with the spectators. He is not far behind. He's in the cars there, just it's behind Jan Ulrich. Ulrich. is not pushing it on. Hamilton here, speaking with Basso, saying slow it down. This the is unbelievable. Well, They're waiting furnace. for the man in the yellow jersey, and he's come back. He's come back. He's still going to have that mechanical problem. He's going to need to change his machine because his pedal has come out on two occasions. Look at the burn on his back there where he went down very sharply indeed. As another move comes, this is Iban Mayo now has seen the yellow jersey back in the group and he puts the pressure on once more. Well, twice now we have seen problems here for Lance Armstrong. Clearly his right pedal. We've seen pedal problems before in big races, but what a day and a place to have a pedal problem. Ulrich did not want to push his advantage. Hamilton spoke with the others, uh, but really, it's nothing to do with them. They want to win the tour. Let me cast your mind back, and I can't remember exactly where it was, was but there was on a mountain like this where Jan Ulrich had a flat tyre at the bottom of the climb. He was a challenger, I think, to last Armstrong at the time, and he actually waited. Armstrong waited for Jan Ulrich to get back into the race situation. You know, in it the sport in the of professional cycling, there's always payback time. You can never burn your bridges. Don't ever make enemies. Well, uh, that's uh, absolutely true, of course. Ulrich wants to win this Tour de France more than anybody else, and probably certainly as much as Lance Armstrong wants to win it. But how lucky was Armstrong to have Rubiera alongside him to help him out of that mess. And this drama enacting on one of the steepest climbs of the Tour de France. They are now climbing steadily. They've, they've brought themselves in. They're composing. But Lance now will be feared to get out of the pedal. He won't be pushing down on that right leg too hard in case whatever is happening happens again. It must be his cleat somehow twisting out of the fitting. But the faithful Chechu Rubiera is always there. Armstrong is out of the saddle again. He's jumping onto the tail well, here of Here Ivan he goes Mayo. again. Well, you know, thinking back to that crash, I think he... And he's going again. He's accelerating again, Phil. This is amazing. This man has been on the ground. He almost lost his manhood on the crossbars a few moments ago. And he's decided he wants to go. Nine kilometers to go to the summit. The leader is just on seven and a half kilometers from the summit. Don't forget, Sylvain Chavanel is doing the ride of his life. But even though he's French, or French host with the cameras, know that this is the battle for the winner of the Tour de France. And what a race this is. This 
Lance Armstrong now, the adrenaline still pumping from his double accident, and Ulrich has gone on the defensive completely. Here he comes. This is fabulous. This is unbelievable. The man was on the ground. He's had problems with his pedal, and he's now decided to go out onto the attack and put Ulrich onto the defensive. Ulrich now has to try and get into a rhythm so he doesn't lose too much time on the yellow jersey of Armstrong. He wanted to do something very special this afternoon, and I wonder what the problem was with his pedal. It could just have been slight nervousness, because I think the crash was formed when he just clipped his arm on the right-hand side. There was a spectator looking the opposite way. Armstrong just touched him, and he went down, and the no, wheel was taken so. from underneath him. I don't well, think let's so. have a look at the picture tonight, because what's happening at the moment is the drama of Armstrong riding away with the bike race. There you can see, this is Alexander Vinokurov. He has got the pink...